Hey Jin Squad, welcome back to my of Is In Worth It. So for today's episode, we got this cool mid right here, and basically what this is, is a wireless headphone. If you see the one that we got right here is from the Anchor brand, and this is under Soundcore, and this is a Life Q35. So you can see this is what the product looks like right here, and at the bottom, they probably got some specs and features that's on here, but when you guys turn around to the back, they probably got some more specs and features as well. So they mentioned how the product has a multi-mode noise cancellation technology, where you can control it on the headphone, or you can control it in the app, with the Soundcore app. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. They mentioned how the product has a high res audio, five minute charge to give you guys four hours of playtime. It has a smart wearing detection. So once you guys take it off from your ears, it'll turn it off by itself or pause the music. And once you guys put it back on, it'll turn it back on. They mentioned how the product has an NFC option if you guys have like an Android device. They also mentioned how the product has 40 hour playtime. And they also mentioned how the product has a crystal clear call with a two mic that's built in with the AI noise reduction, which is really useful, especially when you guys are making calls outdoor. And they also mentioned how there's a touch option for the transparency mode on the side of the headphone. And I'll show you guys how to use that in a second. But this is what the product looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually take it out to show you guys what is actually included inside first. All right. So once you guys take it out, this is what actually looks like inside. So I definitely love the way how they designed the packaging right here. But let's take off the wrapper right here first. All right. So once you guys open up, you can see the product got the case inside. And right underneath the case, you can see the product got the quick starter guide to teach you guys how to use it. But right here, you can see we do have the case. And when you guys feel the case that's on here, it feels really soft and very smooth. But right here, you can see we do have the brand logo. And inside right here, the product got the option where it's gonna hang out somewhere like a backpack or something using a carabiner. And right here, we do have a zipper. So once you guys open up, this is what the product looks like inside. So we do have the headphone and a little baggie. So let's take everything out. So inside the little baggie, they probably got this option right here where you can use it onto the plane. Right here, they probably got the aux cable where they also use like a play button on here, which is kind of cool. Right here, they probably got a USB to USB-C cable that you use to recharge the product. And that is everything that's included in the small little bag. And right here inside, you can see we do have the headphone. So on the side right here, we do have the brand logo. And you can see the way how they designed the top part right here. It looks very similar to the Q30 headphones with the stainless steel or the metal part right here. That definitely feels like a high quality material. And when you guys feel this part right here, it actually has a pretty good padding to give you guys that all day comfort and support. Same thing for the earpiece right here. I believe they use like a memory foam material that's on here. But when you see on the side right here, they mentioned how it actually has a touch option for the transparency mode. And it has an NFC option if you guys do have an like Android device. And if you guys notice inside right here, they have an R and L. So that way it's no which side is which. But once you guys open this part right here, if you can see right here and right here, we do have the button controls. So right here, if you can see we do have the noise cancellation button. Right here, we have the indicator light to show you guys when it's on or off. Right here, we do have the power button for you guys to turn it off and on. Right here, we have the output for you to plug in the cable to recharge it. And then for the other side right here, we do have the aux option. Right here, we have the play and pause button. Right here, we have the plus and minus button for you guys to increase or lower the volume. They also use to skip the song or go back to the previous song as well. And like I mentioned earlier, for the product, actually has the built-in microphone. So that way, when you guys are making calls on here, it actually sounds pretty good. And also cancel a lot of surrounding noise when you guys actually use a microphone with the AI technology. But you can see for the earpiece right here, it is movable. So that way you can get a really nice fitting when you guys do put it on. And you do have the option to move it left and right as well. And when you guys look at this part right here, it is adjustable. Same thing for the other side right here. So that way you can adjust it based on your own preference. And we see the one that we got right here, it is a blue color. But I do have this available in black and pink as well. So if you guys prefer those color, you can get those instead. But I definitely love the fact that how this part right here is actually foldable. So that way it actually makes it a lot easier for you guys to bring along when you guys are traveling. And when you guys flex the headphones, it's actually very flexible. And one thing that I did notice about this headphone is the fact that the way how to design it, it looks very similar to the Q30 headphone. But that is everything that's on the headphone right here. Let me actually plug in the cable to show you guys how to charge it first. So we got a cable right here. Once you guys plug it in, you can see we do have the indicator light right here to show you guys that it's charging. So once it's fully charged, that light should turn off or change a different color. Now let's turn on the product to test it out. So the way how you guys turn on the product is by pressing this button right here. And that turns it on. So what you guys wanna do now is connect it onto your phone. All right, so we got connected. Let's put it on. All right, so once you guys put it on, it definitely looks and feels pretty nice. And I do notice that once I put it on, the noise cancellation technology activates instantly. So if I just click on the NC button, that changes to normal mode. If you guys press it again, it turns on transparency mode. And if you guys press it again, 
that turns on noise cancellation technology. And when you guys turn on the noise cancellation technology, it definitely cancels a lot of the surrounding noise and I don't hear any of the noise. But before I actually test it out, I do want to show you guys how to connect it on the app. All right, so right here with the app. So what I'm gonna do is connect it on here first. All right, so I'm searching for the device. You can see I found the device on here. So I'm just gonna add it. All right, so we got added. So you can see on the app right here, I show you guys the battery life. I also show you guys the noise cancellation technology. So we just press the NC button again. You can see how it shows you guys that change the different modes on here. But you also have the option to click right here to change as well. So once you guys go to this page right here, you can see it show you guys the different modes that's on here and right here as well. So there's transport option, indoor option, and outdoor option. And they tell you guys what each one is for. So that's what this one does. That's what this one does. And that's what this one does. And we see in the bottom right here, they probably got two more options as well. So there's an equalizer option and a sleep option. So I just press right here. And you guys press right here. There's actually a lot of different options available for you guys. But we'll keep it at the one that's preset already. So that is everything that's on the app right here in terms of how to control everything. So you definitely have the option controller on here or on the app. And then if you guys want to activate like the transparency mode with one touch right here, all you need to do is press and hold it one time on the side. And that turns it on, you can see right here. If you guys want to turn it off, press it again. So now let's test out the audio on here to see what it sounds like first. So I got my song right here. All right, so when you guys listen to the audio on here, it definitely sounds pretty good. It has a good balance of both the audio and the bass where it doesn't overpower each other. But now let's test out all the different buttons on here. So the way how you guys play and pause the music is by pressing the button one time. And then if you guys want to increase or lower the volume on here, you guys want to press the plus and minus button one time. And then if you guys want to skip the song or go back to the previous song, you guys want to press and hold the plus and minus button. So just like this. Alright, so you see that that thing does work. And if you guys want to activate the voice assistant on here, you guys want to press and hold the play button. And that activated right there. And if you guys want to answer a call, you guys want to press the play button one time. And if you guys want to end a call, you guys want to press and hold the play button. And one thing that I actually noticed about this headphone right here is the fact that it doesn't have the base of technology compared to Q20 headphone. So that's kind of interesting because I wish they actually had that technology built into the headphone. And like I mentioned for the power right here, they do have an auto on and auto off option. So once you guys take it off, you actually pause the music. So let's test it out. So we play the music on here. So if I take it off, there's slight delay before it stops, but once I put it back on, it starts again. So whether you guys take off one side or both sides, it definitely has an auto on and auto off option. And also for this headphone, it does give you guys a dual pairing option. So if you guys want to connect it to two devices, you can definitely do that on here. And also for this pilot, it does give you guys a reset option. So if you guys need to reset it, you can definitely do that on here. If you guys are curious about how to reset it, they probably got the information right here. So that is everything that's on the right here. Now let's test out the audio for the microphone to see what it sounds like first. So I'm gonna turn on my recorder first. All right, so we got a recorder app right here. Let's test it out. All right, so what you guys are listening to right now is the audio that's coming from the microphone right here. If you guys can hear what it sounds like, now I'm actually listening to the audio and see what it sounds like first. All right, so after listening to the audio for the microphone that's on the headphone, it definitely sounds really good. It actually sounds really clear, especially with the noise reduction that's on here or the AI noise reduction. So that way when you guys are in a surrounding that's really noisy or really windy, that AI technology will kick in. So that way I actually get a clear audio when you guys are using mid calls. But definitely once I put on the headphone, it actually feels really comfortable. I feel like if I were to compare this to the Q30 headphones, only main difference that I do notice on here is the auto on and auto off option. But also the material that they use on the pad right here, it feels a lot better. But everything else in terms of the design, it looks very similar and actually feels the same way as well. And also all the different options that built on here is very similar in terms of all the different buttons and also the app control as well. But that is everything that's on the power right here. Now to unboxing and testing button. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this headphone right here, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality wireless headphone that's all the different specs and benefit that's on here. Whether it's going to use this indoor, outdoor, when you guys are traveling, then we definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it. 
But then obviously if it's 30 guys who don't want or don't need one or have to one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you need to need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.